Hey guys, some of you have asked me if I can create a video on Cypress wrap command. Okay, so here's the video for you. Where do we use cy.wrap command? Okay, we can use it on web element. Uh, we can use it on elements which store data, for example, variables, um, arrays, objects. And uh, we can also use it with the JavaScript promises. So, so far in this series, I've already used the cy.wrap command on elements as well as on the, the containers that hold a data. But hey ho, we are going to cover everything in this video. All right. So what are we doing? So guys, I'm going to launch this particular page. Okay. And then I'm going to find an element. Now, the cy.get command will yield us an element. Now, if you do the then command right after this, right, you can work with the element being yielded by this command. Now, this element is of type jQuery. As you could see, when I hover over this, it tells me it is of type jQuery HTML element, which means, guys, that we can run the jQuery methods on this element directly. Okay, that's why we know. All right, so let me change this to only and run it. So what I'm doing in here, since this element with which we are interacting is of type input, okay? So we are setting its value using the jQuery value method to QA box, as you could see in here. Now guys, the thing is, not everyone is comfortable with jQuery. Yes, developers are because they have been using jQuery for years, but not every QA is. They are more comfortable with using these Cypress commands. That's one thing. Another thing is if you want to run any assertion, right? Any Cypress assertion, you have to have the Cypress object. This is jQuery object, right? So you can't use the should method and then you can't check whether it has the value equal to QA box and all. Now, how to get around this situation? So understand that. So you were at Cypress object, then you take that one layer off and now you are at jQuery. Now, if you want to go back from jQuery to Cypress again, you have to put that one layer back, right? Which you just took off. Okay. How do we do that with the help of cy.rep guys? So if you have to use the type command, okay, on this element, then you have to convert this element into the Cypress element so that you can use the Cypress type command. And for that, you just say cy dot wrap like so. Okay. So now this type command is available on this element. Let me show you. So now we are going to type QA box. Let's test. I'm going to to control s and guys we have entered qa box let's test and in here you see the wrap command and you see the type command let me show you so if we do this then this is jquery command and it is not being logged to the cypress log okay in here you don't see that but yes the value is in here okay so this is where you are going to use the cy.wrap when it comes to the elements. So if you want to run the Cypress command, so you have to add that one layer on top of jQuery object so that you can use or leverage the Cypress commands. Is that clear? All right. So that's first use case. Now, the second use case is you're working with variables, objects, arrays, and these are all synchronous uh, JavaScript code. Okay. Now we know that Cypress commands are chained and they are executed asynchronously. So guys, then if we want to use the data being stored into these objects, then how are you going to do that? 
For example, this name contains QA box let's test. Okay. And we want to test whether this name has got this value. Likewise, you have this channel object, which has got the name property, which has got this value. So you want to check that channel should have the property name with the value QA box. Let's test. And finally, we have this array. I've got all these topics covered onto my channel. So I'm promoting my channel. Okay. So we have playlist JavaScript, TypeScript, Cypress, Mocha, blah, blah, blah. Now I want to check that this playlist array should include the word Cypress. Now, how can I do that? Because this should is available on Cypress, right? So guys, it's very simple. Let me uncomment all of these and just wrap these elements using cy.wrap. It's that simple. Okay. So let me quickly do it for the rest of these. There we go. It's done. Now we have to execute this one. Let us execute this. There you go. So this variable has got this value. This object has got the property name with this value. And this array has got Cypress item in it. Okay. Let's change this back to skip. Now this is the most complex one guys. So what I do is I just comment the before each now. And now we are going to work with promise. So the promise that I've created is very simple. So we have this function, which is returning us a promise. And we only have the resolve parameter in here. Whenever you create a promise, you have got resolve and reject. But when you wrap a promise in Cypress, it only gives you back whatever you are resolving. Okay. So hence I have only considered resolve in here what this promise is returning this promise is returning me a person okay that person object has got a name so i'm going to provide the value of that property from this function and there is also a delay that we are going to add to this promise so if you say three seconds in here which is going to be 3000 millisecond guys so this promise would be resolved after three seconds Okay, so down below in the test case, we are invoking the function and we have provided the name and the time. So we are expecting that this promise would be resolved in three seconds and the outcome would be a person with the name Avi. Okay, so let me change it to only. All right, so guys, pay attention. So what is going to happen is you might expect that your test case would wait for this promise to be completed. Okay. But that is not the case, right? Because you have not used any Cypress command. This is a JavaScript promise. So Cypress context does not know about it. Okay. So your test case would be executed immediately. Okay. Let me save it. Okay. So you see. We see the statement promise begin, promise finished, but our test case was executed immediately. How can we fix this? So guys, solution is we have to wrap that. So we say let P is equal to this. Okay. And we say CY dot wrap. Let's wait for this to be completed. Now let us execute this. So we have promise begin, it's waiting. We have promise finished and now the test case is done. Okay, great. The other advantage is you can now check that it should have a property. Okay. The name of the property is name and the value has to be Avi. Let's run this. waiting and there you go so session works all right so what is the next concept if a promise is resolved and you run the same command again 
this command will not wait because the promise is already resolved. Let me show you. So once this is completed, both of the wrap commands would be shown immediately. Okay, like I said. All right, what's next? Now guys, this promise, right, whatever we have created, this starts immediately. And we know that Cypress commands are chained first and then they get executed. So if we want this promise to execute after any Cypress command, we run this promise inside the then block. So first I show you the problem. Okay. So we are visiting the site now from this test case. I am going to just comment out all of this. Let's see the problem. So our promise is logging something to the console and our application is also logging something to the console. Okay. Now let us see. So now my promise would be resolved right after 30 milliseconds. This is Cypress command. This is Cypress command, but this is not. So this would be changed. This would be changed, but the execution of this would be started immediately. We have said CY dot wrap in here, but the execution will start before these two commands. Okay. Let's see that. So watch the console section closely. Okay, so in here you see doc loaded, okay, but the promise started way before than that and was finished also, okay. So this is the problem. So if you want that this should be executed after you visit the page, so then you use the standard then block guys, it's that simple like this then you cut this code from here put it here run it okay so we should first see dom loaded and then promise begin and promise finished okay now these messages are in order okay so this is what we wanted so guys in nutshell this is what we can accomplish using cy.wrap i'll also take you to the documentation so this yield object passed into cy.wrap. What kind of objects we can pass? We can pass the objects like this, okay, the elements and the promises like so, okay. Now, in case of promise, like I mentioned, if the object is a promise, yields it resolved value. So, I hope this video will clear all your doubts on cy.wrap command. If you like the video, give this a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.